Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do this little um, castle tower using the Boolean. Boolean is a, a mathematical equation to subtract or add stuff. And so um, I, I subtract, I didn't model this, I subtracted this, um, these openings. I subtracted the window and I also subtracted these doorways and so let's go ahead and get started guys let's create a new scene and I'm just going to place a cylinder there that's going to be our castle I'm going to go to the front view I'm going to make it a little larger and taller and and move it up to the floor here we got our castle. I'm gonna to go to my perspective view now, hit F, uh, right click and go to face mode, hold down the tab, select all the top faces, and I am just going to size them down so that it's got this angle. We don't have to do it, but I thought it's cool. I'm gonna hit F to zoom in on the uh, faces and with the shift, I still have my scale tool. With the shift key pressed, I am going to extrude inward. And W to move, hold on the shift and extrude downward. And there's our region up there for those um, little nooks. Let's create the object that's going to knock those out. I Let's go ahead and click on a box and move it way up here. I am going to uh, scale down and then scale only in the uh, Y and then in the X. That's kind of what I want. I want to see where this is, this is going and I'm gonna push it down just a little bit and I'm going to use this to knock out a hole right there but before I do in fact uh, let me go ahead and do it just to show you how the boolean works I'm gonna grab the object first and then hold the shift and click on the tool Remember, this is going to drill out these areas right now if I just select it and move it out of the way nothing is uh, nothing has been carved out so again select the mesh and then the tool the drill and then go to mesh boolean difference is to subtract and so there it is that's essentially what we're going to do we're going to drill a hole through it I'm going to undo that make sure that uh, the our um, our castle the cylinder is back to the way it was uh, and the reason I want to go back is because I want to do multiple. So I am going to duplicate this around. I'm going to go to my top view. And I'm going to duplicate this. But instead of duplicating, rotating, rotating, duplicating this, I'm going to go up here to edit and duplicate special. I'm going to go to the options by clicking on the box here. Duplicate special options. And I am going to copy and I want to rotate it 45 degrees and I want to number uh, three more copies and then hit duplicate special. Boom. And that gives me one, two, three more copies at a 45 degree angle. So with that, uh, I'm going to select all of them. Hold down the shift, click, click and click. I've selected all of them. just to show you I've selected all of them and then I am going to go to mesh and then combine into one this combine um, just makes everything into one object and there it is so again select the mesh first and then select the tool go up here to uh, mesh boolean difference I mean subtract and there's our top there is our top right there not for the bottom arches. I am going to create another cylinder. And this cylinder, uh, I am going to rotate it 90 degrees. 
E, hold down the J key, hold it down, and then rotate it 90 degrees. Right there. R to scale, and I'm going to scale it out like this. I want to go to my side view because I'm going to do something here that I want you to see. Uh, and so this is my doorway. But I want to elongate it down. Uh, it'll be straight and then the arc and then straight down. So how can I manipulate this so that uh, we can get that arch, um, the arched doorway? So go to vertex and I am going to select everything below the center line. Click on the scale tool and I'm going to scale only up and down, in this case the X all the way down till it's flat move it well actually before we move it scale it out just a little bit and then W to move it down and I'm gonna go all the way down past the bottom and there's our uh, doorway I am going to duplicate this I'm gonna duplicate this I'm gonna go ahead to go to object mode and uh, I'm gonna go to my top view E to rotate, hold down the shift to rotate and clone. And I am going to try to get it as best I can. To 90 degrees. I don't have to be perfect because I can always go to the channel box and just uh, go negative 90. There we go. So we've got our um, doorways here. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of these doorways. Uh, let's go ahead and get a uh, here in the rendering shelf uh, a new blend material. And then let's go to the blend material, change it to red. Select this one, right click, right click and assign existing material. Boom, there it is red. So I am going to select, I'm gonna hide this one for a minute. I'm gonna just, I need to show you something. I'm going to combine these, but I'm gonna do it not like I did the top where I went to mesh and then combine. I am going to go to mesh, then Boolean, then Union. The difference is now this is one object, one solid object with out the inside parts so if you could see there's no insides it combined it into one deleting the the insides so this is a a cool um, boolean to combine things and make them one now i'm going to go ahead and bring back my um, castle h hit five for solid preview select the geometry and then shift click the tool go to mesh boolean difference boom and there it is there it is it came out a little bit uh taller but that's okay i'm going to do the exact same thing with a window i'm just going to change the uh, shape a little i am going to rotate this hold down the j key to 90 w to move out and then E R to scale we're just gonna put a little window right here in the front and uh, how deep do I want this in fact I'm gonna select this and create yet another um, blend another color and let's make this uh, green just so you see the difference uh, I am going to go to my front view for for wireframe and I am going to just scale it in a little bit W push it out now I just want it a little bit deep not that deep and so I again boolean operation select the geometry first then select the tool you want to drill with and then go to mesh boolean difference that means it's going to subtract it and boom there it is there's a little window there's the archways and we have our castle not a big deal guys this boolean tool is very powerful for you to model stuff 
um, very, very simply. Look at that. And so all I did with the other one is I think I just did a floor. And there we have it. This little castle tower modeled quickly using the Boolean tools here in the mesh. Uh, Boolean union, difference, and intersection. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.